Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little vlog. It is currently bank holiday. It's Friday the 3rd of June and yesterday was also a bank holiday. So yeah, we have a four day weekend. I'm gonna vlog a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm gonna vlog um, today and tomorrow because I think I'm gonna upload this on Sunday. I've basically just woken up so my voice is a little bit morning voice so yeah i've not got too much on today i am going out in about an hour i've booked my car in for evaluation at we buy any car because i am thinking about changing up my car i know that it's a pretty good time to do that at the moment because cars are going for quite a lot of money at the moment so i'm just intrigued to know what i can get for my car because it is about I've had it for about three years um, which I know is not long, but I never really planned to keep it for past that sort of time anyway. Yeah, I'm looking at getting a new car. And by new, I don't mean like brand spanking new. I just mean to change it up basically. I think it's a good idea to do it if you're thinking about um, changing up your car. Definitely get it valued because I have already had one valuation and it's pretty much the same as what I paid for it. So yeah quite interesting um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do today um and then i'm meeting my mom and dad i think they're both coming or just my mum. um and we're gonna look around like the local garages just to have a little mooch basically potentially test drive some as well that's always fun my boyfriend is actually he's been on a stag this weekend <laughs> well for the past few days he gets back today but i'm not actually sure what time he'll be coming back here at some point i know that he's completely ruined hungover is probably not the word so i don't know how far, how much fun he'll be later tomorrow i'm going to do a little bit of baking for the jubilee obviously i actually don't know i know today is the actual like jubilee bank holiday i think i really hope you guys enjoy um oh i'm missing a nail I'm just going to glue that back on for now. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a coffee because I'm dying for one right now. Um, I feel like all of my vlogs start with me making a coffee, but that is just my morning routine. So I also um, got sent this oat milk from Press. It's so, so nice. I'm so glad I gave my flat a little bit of a clean yesterday. Um, I'll show you in a second, but it's looking quite tidy and clean because usually, like, by the end of the week, it's just a little bit... Everything's everywhere and it's all over the place. I'm going to be using a beer glass for my coffee. I actually drank out of this the other day. Put on my story. Um, and I love the shape of the glass. Does anyone know what I mean by that? Like, why do some things genuinely taste nicer out of a nicer cup? Well, it's not even a nicer cup, but the shape, I don't know, I can't really explain it. Yum. Mmm. I just thought I'd show you really quickly some proof that sometimes in here is pretty tidy and clean. So this is the weather outside. <gasps> so happy i actually don't think it's going to be nice tomorrow which is really sad um because obviously it's the weekend but at least it's nice today so yeah we've got a lovely lovely clean house my boyfriend got me some flowers the other day and i've just had a shower so i'm going to make my bed now Okay, so I'm gonna do my makeup. Nothing too fancy, actually. I'm gonna leave my hair up for now. I've still got a little bit of a tan from Turkey. And by tan, I mean like glow. <laughs> um, so I've not really been wearing foundation. I've actually just been wearing either a cream contour this um with concealer or yesterday i actually wore this which is by terry brightening cc serum i've had this for ages um and it just brings a little bit of color back into your face my, my skin's been really dry recently i think probably because i was in the sun quite a lot um so i've been using a lot of moisturizer charlotte tilbury magic cream also i've been loving this serum from lancaster i took it on holiday loved their um spf so that is basically all i wore i didn't burn like i only burnt on the last day when i'd run out of lancaster 
But honestly, every SPF from Lancaster did not let me down. And I was wearing Factor 50, which I thought, oh my God, I'm never gonna catch a tan. But I did, and my tan was really good and quite even as well, so. And then also I used the um, After Sun, which had the prolonging ingredient. It's supposed to keep your tan for one month, and this is the same, this serum. So, that's what I've been using. I've just put on some of the um, cream contour. I feel like your moisturiser is key because it just helps it sort of slip around the face a little bit more. Because I put this on once with no moisturiser and it was dry. Like, still an amazing product, but just not as easy to move around. My mum actually did just phone me and say she's not going to be able to make it. So... I potentially might be car shopping on my own. Again, it's literally just having a browse um, and just getting some ideas because I have a little bit of an idea of what I want. I know I don't want a smaller car than what I have. Other than that, I don't really know how much cars are at the moment because obviously me trading mine in for a good price means that most likely cars are not going to be cheap to buy either. So I need to get like a budget in mind and figure out how much I want to pay. I just blended that all in. How natural and just sunkissed does it make you look and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer back on loving nars honestly when you put concealer on i think you've realized that you really don't need like if you've if you've got a good skin day i mean i've broken out a little bit this month i think because of the sun cream on my face but on a good skin day honestly i feel like concealer does most of the work anyway it's like foundation just evens out my skin and the, the bronzer basically does that so i'll show you my final makeup look when i'm done okay it's literally been a couple of minutes and i've finished my face i've got the cream contour a little bit of concealer powder blush and then obviously just eyebrows mascara and then on my lips i've just put on this fresh face cheek and lip tint by barry m i think these are so so nice i tried this yesterday um i did a little instagram reel caramel kisses and it just feels so nice and the color is really really nice this feels like a moisturizing lip balm obviously it's got really nice color i'm gonna get dressed i need to get a few documents together for my valuation and i'll see you in a bit i've got all of my car paperwork just put my hair up into like you know the claw clip and i thought that i couldn't do this on my hair because i have too much of it but i found a way i thought i'd show you because a lot of the hacks i've seen online i mean don't quote me this might already be out there um they just don't work for me so i thought i'd just show you how i do it because i find it's a little, little bit of a lifesaver <laughs> so basically this is a big clip by the way i think i got it on amazon i leave a couple bits out and i grab it all into like a low low pony and then i wrap it round as if i'm gonna do a bun but i obviously leave a bit out and make sure it's quite tight the bit that i've left out I clip. I don't mind it quite loose and messy as well, by the way. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. Kind of do it just till it till it feels secure. And then look. Hopefully that looks okay because I can't really see, but it feels secure. Yeah. Then I just play with it throughout the day. Um. Anyway, I've got on old Zara black trousers. Wow, this is a wide shot. Um. A little Zara crop top as well because it's quite warm. Some platform slides from Naked Fashion, I think. And yeah, this bag is from Olivia Sales as well. Yeah, and I'm all good to go. I don't actually know if anyone's gonna be joining me. I did ask my brother-in-law as well, because he loves cars and he only lived around the corner. And yeah, I'll try and film as much as possible because obviously I'm potentially gonna be on my own, so. Did meet me and my brother-in-law um, for a bit 
but he had to head off because they're going out today. Quarter past one and I've not had anything to eat. I'm starving, but I wasn't really hungry when I left this morning. So I'm gonna go get some snacks or some lunch. That's so weird. I think I can see my boyfriend's plane landing. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting around now because I know he's probably just landed or was about to land any minutes. So there's no point in me going home. I'm gonna wait around, get some food and then go and pick him up. It was fun to test drive the car um, and very interesting to get some figures. I'm gonna go and do some homework, do some research and study what I can actually afford because so I'm gonna sell mine obviously so I'll get a chunk for that but also the valuation for we buy any car was not great. For reference, Audi gave me a price yesterday which was basically, um, my car's Audi by the way, basically um the price that i paid for it that is if i stay with audi and get another car from them and we buy any car offered me less yeah it's quite a big difference so i'm still not ruling out audi because obviously it would be silly to rule out that price but anyways i'm gonna go get some food and i will see you guys in a bit okay i just got this from waitrose Spicy salmon rolls with crispy onions. Looks so nice. And then also these olives are the best from Waitrose. The cheese is peng. <laughs> and the other olives are just so nice. And then I've still got that for my boyfriend because they're his favourites too. Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning. Another beautiful day actually. To be honest, earlier wasn't so great but it's definitely cleared up. Basically last night, um, obviously I mentioned I picked my boyfriend up from the airport and he wasn't actually in that much of a bad way um, but very tired and we just chilled last night. I was pretty knackered as well from going out the night before. We just got a takeaway and we watched Stranger Things. I've started it and I did actually watch a couple of episodes last week but I found it a little bit scary. I'm watching it from the very beginning by the way. Um, so yeah, I basically was like, when he got back I said, I want to watch Stranger Things but I want you to watch it with me because Number one, it could be like our series that we watch together because I always feel like it's more fun watching a series with someone else. And second of all, I'm a bit scared. So we can watch it together. So last night we watched like six episodes. Definitely getting into it and he really likes it as well. Yeah, that is what we did last night. I'm actually just about to go out and get my nails done because yeah, as you can see, I'm missing one and they are just overdue now. I got these done before I went on my holiday. So a couple of weeks ago now. So I'm gonna pop out and get those done. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. I'm actually going to head to my mom and dad's i think i mentioned yesterday i'm going there um because they're going out and if you follow me for a while you'll know we have a family dog called bailey and also buddy who's my sister's dog we're looking after or my parents are looking after him because they're away as well and yeah they just want me to go around and like keep the dogs company for a bit give them dinner let them out and then yeah later on i'm actually going to see my boyfriend again because it's one of his friend's birthdays so it's kind of hectic over here. I thought I would just vlog this morning and also I'm gonna do a little bit of baking. Obviously it's the Jubilee weekend, so we're seeing uh, my boyfriend's family tomorrow. So I'm gonna do some bakes for that. That is what we're getting up to today. So first stop is getting my nails done. Okay, just got back. These are my nails. I really, really love them. They're, I changed the shape to like an oval and just got a really thin neon orange design. I saw a lady in the shop getting this design like a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh my God, that looks so nice because even though it's so neon, it doesn't look too much because it's such a thin line. This is what I went for. My hands kind of still look tanned. Now I need to pack a bag for the weekend and then I'm heading straight out. I'm now at my mum and dad's and I'm in the kitchen. The dogs have disappeared. They don't really care about me being here, but I thought I just saw them in the garden. Um, I've just popped a Sainsbury's. What I'm gonna make is a big rocky road. So I've got big dairy milk bars. Oh, there's a big fly on the window. 
and yeah i'm just gonna chuck a bit of everything in to be honest i'm gonna put popcorn in it um i've got some kit kats hoping they've got cornflakes and by they i mean my mum and dad i'm gonna steal them i'm gonna top the top with chocolate and also i got some white chocolate to put in as well but to also melt down and dye red and blue and try and do union jacks we'll see how that goes because <laughs> obviously it's jubilee themed i got myself some of these nescafe um cappuccino pouches uh sachets my mum used to have these all the time but she doesn't drink them anymore so i bought them for me for when i come over i also might make some cookies depending on if i have some time i saw i think it was emma's rectangle she posted some cookies and they looked really really good and they were half dipped in white chocolate and sprinkled with red and blue sprinkles so yeah if i have time and if i feel up to that and if my mum and dad have the ingredients for cookies as well yes i knew they would because my grandma stays here and she loves some cornflakes i'm only gonna take some i won't rob them so i've got some smarties because i figured i don't actually know if they do red ones yeah they have red and blue ones so i can use the red and blue one okay that just fell in the sink they use red and blue out of this mix as well this is my sister's dog buddy <laughs> you know and he is the best behaved dog i've ever met in my life he just lets you do whatever you want <laughs> you can genuinely hold him like this for like probably an hour and he just doesn't mind do you he's like a big baby he's such a good boy and my sister's on holiday at the moment so my mom and dad are looking after him he's such a good boy he's honestly the best aren't you how tame he is this is what makes me want like a cockapoo because i think a lot of cockapoos are like this but i do like big dogs as well i'm also going to just washing my hands i'm also going to make some enough for my mum and dad as well because obviously i'm using their kitchen i'm using i mean i am babysitting for them but <laughs> i'm using some of their ingredients so i should probably make enough for them I don't know if I mentioned actually, tonight I am going out. I'm only staying here to feed the dogs and let them out. Going out to meet my boyfriend later with some of our friends. So yeah, I need to get myself ready soon as well. This is just gonna be winging it. Also, when I last did this for Easter, I obviously vlogged it. And a lot of people were like, you need to add golden syrup to the mix to make it more like, less thick, I guess, more runny better consistency so that's what i'm gonna do as well but i'm not following a recipe i am just what's up cocaine with the cocaine the more money make more rain going up a bank while i'm back in propane point blank range give a nigga nose range skip to my lube with the pack in the cat chip it lube with the bricks where they at dripping ooze the paddock all wet birds in the truck they ain't leaving at the nest yeah my face sit like milk yep running with the pack got slip hands in the cookie jar cut his finger off so I found a baking tray and I'm going to use this because it's quite nice and deep and I'm just going to line it with some parchment paper. I've melted my chocolate and okay, I've definitely done something wrong again because it's thick, really thick, probably thicker. I put golden syrup in and then I put it into melt. Um, <coughs> definitely wrong. Let's melt the other half and see what happens. Anyway, we're going to pretend that didn't happen. I'm going to add in cornflakes. I mean, this happened with the Easter ones and they did turn out really, really good. Like they tasted unreal. And let's be honest, that's what it's all about. Adding in some more chocolate, thinned out. Adding more chocolate. There's going to be loads, probably going to be loads of bakers on here telling me that this is a really, really stupid idea. Right, it's mixing it again. I'm gonna chuck in some popcorn whilst we're feeling confident again. And yeah, like I said, it is all about the taste. Okay, this is what it's looking like. I'm actually pretty happy with that. It's still a little bit thick. I'm gonna pop it in here and then probably melt some chocolate and put it on the top and then we can set it.
Okay, that is the rocky road. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> Go on then. Good girl, good boy. So good. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm now filming on my phone because I've set you up at an angle so you can kind of see what's going on. I have put some sprinkles on some parts of the top, as you can see, and then it's been in the fridge for about half an hour. And I've taken it out because I am just mixing some icing together. This is supposed to be red, but for some reason it's a really deep red, but we're just gonna go with it. But so yeah, I've cut them into squares so I know where to draw the flags because the empty squares I'm going to make into Union Jacks and also I have decided not to do the cookies um, because I honestly thought I'd have loads and loads of time to kill before I go out whilst I look after the dogs but time has just flown so I'm going to try and pipe crosses and basically see what happens so let's start in the middle. No, let's start here. Oh, love it. That's pretty good. I also did have to look up what a Union Jack looks like. Just for some um, reminding. Okay, they are definitely brown. Which is annoying. Right, I'm really not sure of what is going on with my skills today. Why? Like this is just white chocolate and a bit of food color, <laughs> a bit of food coloring, and it's just gone like this. I definitely should have, I don't know, pre-planned for what I wanted to make. But as always, I'm just being realistic. So I've just found these in the cupboard. They are blue and white, and do you know what? We're just going to top them off with this. So I am all ready to go out, put on some makeup, and I've just got a little bit more dressed up because I think we are actually going for dinner. But I've just got out my, what are they called? Rocky Roads. I thought we, I'm so clumsy today. I thought we could cut into them together. Yes. Okay, and here is a look. <gasps> How good do they look? Oh my God, I'm so happy with those. So I'm gonna cut them into squares. And then they are all ready to go. So I'm actually going to end this vlog here because I am about to head out with some friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love vlogging and you guys seem to really love vlogs. So I'll definitely be back vlogging soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a really good weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye.